I've actually covered this before, but it keeps coming up, so I'm again addressing how I think werewolf babies are born on Teen Wolf. Now, I'm not covering the male contribution to the conception process. I tried a few animations, and it's just kind of gross trying to show how the spark might be shared during the act. Anyway, my theory isn't as well formed when it comes to the alpha dads, so we're just doing moms today. There are a few hard and fast canonical rules that you need to accept before we can move on. Only alpha werewolves have enough energy in their spark to make new werewolves. As an alpha, you have that bit of extra, that spark. It intensifies the color of your eyes from a bright yellow into a searing red. Beta wear coyotes can give birth to little wear coyotes, but will lose some of their supernatural power in doing so. What you do have is power, strength, speed, and the capacity to heal. And you know where you got it from, Leah? You know where you stole it from? Me. This is the canon that we know from TV. So, with those two established canonical points, how are little baby werefolks made? With an alpha werewolf mother, it's pretty straightforward. The embryo develops literally in the light of an alpha spark. At some point, a little spark will infuse the fetus, just like we see when an alpha bites someone. With a beta werewolf mother, it is different. While this child is also inside a supernatural environment, there is no new spark of energy because the beta is not powerful enough to share. The twist to this situation is with a beta were coyote. Like the werewolf, the beta spark is too weak to create a new spark. Instead, the mother spark almost fully transfers to the embryo. This leaves the mother with weakened abilities while imbuing the unborn child with an almost adult-level spark. 